Ruin has come to our network on the the Duckfeed Memorial Dungeon Estate. My name is Gary Butterfield, and welcome back to Gary Butterfield Plays Darkest Dungeon. Today, we're going after a boss. Um, oh, hey, Pocket. Pocket did not like that. He was scared. I think we're going to be fine. Um, let's check in on the estate. Uh, nobody's doing stress relief. I dumped all those jabronis um, in the sanitarium. Pocket the Cat, Nick Glauber, getting rid of some negative quirks. Stagecoach. Didn't want any of these guys. I did take our brand new shield breaker, Dakota Biggs. Very excited to start whipping her out. Uh, shield breakers are great. Um, have not looked at the Nomad Wagon yet. Okay, and I also need to make sure while I'm here that I can prevent the ambush, which I can do. Um, and does he have plan takedown? Yes. Okay, we have a really good squad for this mission. Um, Unfortunately, the rewards this week across the border dog shit. Um, we're going to go kill the swine prince, the pagan talisman. Are you kidding me? So this is uh, plus 25 damage versus a fanatic. Uh, the fanatic is a optional boss that uh, is a wandering boss as included with the crimson court. Might sneeze here. Uh. <laughs> okay, I thought I was going to lose the sneeze, which would have been a bad omen, because that's a bad feeling. Um, when you have a lot of people running around with the Crimson Curse, the Fanatic will come after you. He's an incredibly hard Ultra Boss. Uh, I've only beat him once. This would make it more... But you can't plan for him, so this is actually not very good. I'm going to sell it for money. This is our crew uh, here. We got Brayton Cameron. He is up front. Um, he is a Warren's Tactician which is going to be useful. Um, he is a shocker, which is a bummer because there's some stun at play here. Clumsy, which is a bummer, but I just kind of reduced his dodge. Uh, or his dodge is not good anyway. I did not reduce it. Um, he is going to be primarily here to do damage. The way he's going to do damage. Um, this is how we do it. Plan take down. So extra damage versus uh, things are size two, which the Swine Prince is in accuracy. He's also got a mark synergy in this party. He's going to be marking or taking advantage of marks. He's got a little bit of stun. A little bit of stun synergy. Pretty powerful, I think. Over here, Greta the Cat. Greta the Cat has a fear of beast, which is unfortunate. Um, that's going to be worse accuracy. Do I want to switch Greta the Cat out? Do I have... I didn't notice that until just now. Do I have any... Autumn can go. Level 1. Warren's Tactician. Autumn can do this. Only level one. I like sending level two. But I don't want that bonus or that decreased accuracy. Quick reflexes is good. The rest of the skills were good. But yeah, I'm going to send Autumn out. I'm going to not go for the level advantage. Autumn can do this. No position two. Plague Doctor. Yeah. I think we can do this. This is the first boss. Um, so I'm going to give her what he had, which is the Beast Slayer's Ring. Plus 25 damage. Uh, percent damage versus Beast, which is excellent. Warren's Tactician. Extra damage. She's just going to be absolutely killing it here. I feel pretty good about it. Let's actually give her a Health Stone as well to kind of make up for the fact that she's a little bit underleveled. And Bleed Out is actually going to be awesome um, on her uh, to use that. Um, I'm going to go make sure that she does not need any, uh, you know, increasing here, which she does. I'm glad I came here. It's going to be expensive. This is worth it, though. And then she might be able to use the uh, next level of... Yes. Okay. I feel a little bit better about it. It's expensive. I think this is still the right move. Autumn. Healthstone. Negative speed. Bummer. However, going to be doing a lot of damage. Pretty hardy. Here. Allison Baker. Allison Baker is unerring. That's awesome. 10% damage. Allison Baker is going to be uh, primarily clearing the marks. So that's kind of the gimmick of this uh, podcast, or this uh, podcast, this boss. Uh, I'm going to get a little possible stress heal on that. It's going to be able to clear stun. She is basically made to hard counter this boss. Um, she also has the mark synergy. She can mark uh, and get extra damage versus mark, which Brayden Cameron does as well. Extra accuracy on range. She should not be missing. Survival guide for extra trap disarm and scouting mostly, uh, and for lack of anything better to give her. 
He has got the Solar Bracer for extra crit, um, which he's got anyway, and then extra accuracy. I really don't want him missing. Over here, we got Will Hughes, our Vestal, just keeping everyone alive. Uh, Eagle Eye is useful for the extra crits, um, but no real useful things here, and double cloaks. So dodge to keep her alive, speed to keep her going quickly. Um, and yeah, and uh, let's fight the Swine Prince. Let me turn up the volume here so you guys can hear the uh, the narration. I got a provision first. Okay, so I'm going to take two stacks of food, even though I, I can probably do a stack and a half because I'm going to beeline it. A few shovels, a few of these, a few of these, a few of these, a few of these. Two stacks of torches. I don't want to fuck around with that. Okay, now I will turn up the volume. Actually, fighting a boss is not the time to do Okay, let's go. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. The flavor in this game is like literally the best. So this is kind of a bad layout. Uh, Swine Prince is going to be here. Always in the farthest place. So we got four rooms. We're going to be able to camp right beforehand. Um, I think this is actually fine. So I, I just, I love the idea that, uh, you know, bringing back the dead, they need a vessel. So he started making Pikmin. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it goes wrong and you get the Swine Prince. No scout, which is a bummer, but no battle. It's good. Could end up being a short mission. Always an option. But, we'll, you know, obviously we'll try to come back with treasure if possible. Um, I just realized she, I want her in position one. I didn't look at her, um, oh, and I got rid of the Crusader, who maybe had my ambush prevention. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so we might get an ambush, uh, which is a bummer. Uh, but I can survive it. I need to, like, not make changes. It's so tempting, though, because I... I do set up these characters. I like set up a, you know, a proposed crew. Uh, then I start recording. I figure it, it makes no sense for you guys to watch that part. However, uh, I'm human. I make mistakes. And that means sometimes I forget to uh, get ambush prevention on my Vestal. Um, which is don't disease. Okay. I did not bring disease prevention either, which would have been nice, but I don't really have a good grave robber. Um, or appropriately level a grave robber and a plague doctor doesn't make any sense in this zone or against this boss, so it's okay. Um, yeah, I still need to heal. Give them no quarter. Um, and actually, have you iron swan and have you finish off. Good, good, good. I like him doing a debuff here. I can get rid of debuffs uh, and didn't even debuff. Unfortunately, not a one shot. That's okay. You, can you finish him off? Yes. Okay, this is going great. We're fine. Apprentice missions are easy. Why was I so scared? I usually give her if it bleeds, which can hit position three, but I think bleed out with its damage bonus and big bleed uh, is actually going to be pretty useful for the Swine King, so. Moonstone sucks, but I can always use my feet, sell magical item. Uh, this is unlocked, which means it might hit me, but I can get over this. And I resisted it. Okay. So far, so good. No scouts, so I'm kind of moving blind. Oh, baby. This is really good. It's a big damage buff. It only lasts until camp. Camp buffs last for three battles. The ambush counts as one. So if I go back here, camp, might have a battle here, might have a battle here, might have a battle here, might have an ambush, which would be all my battles. Hallway battles would fuck me. I think I go here, and then I come back for that before the boss. I might end up fighting an extra battle, but it's plus, like, it's a really big benefit. I think that's worth it. 
I just need to remember that's there. Uh, this is lame. I'm getting a lot of these battles, uh, but that's okay. This will all be worth it once the Swine Prince is dead and I get that sweet, sweet... Oh, no! Oh, that's actually fine, I think. Yeah, her healing skills are worse. Okay. Disease is no joke. It is really possible to get, like, an absolutely dog shit disease right before, uh... Right before uh, a big boss fight. So... You could probably use a little bit of a heal. Good crit. Okay. Oh, excellent. Bunny hunters do so much damage. Oh, good dodge, too. Everything is coming up Millhouse. All right. Um, I think I need Holy Water to do anything with this guy, so we're going to ignore it. And we need to remember right here. Okay. Oh, this is good scout. Okay. Um, so we have this hallway fight. Then we can come back, or then we can camp, come back, and hopefully just not get any battles and add that um, that alcohol buff to our normal camp buffs. I need to look at what uh, what she's got as far as camping skills. Because looking Oh, uh-oh. Ugh! That sucks. Um, sharpened Spear is good. Ah, oh, that sucks, though. Fuck. Alright. Uh, he's got, well, he's got the, the hat to increase his accuracy, which is good. Maybe he'll be okay. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna give him like a million accuracy buffs. We're okay. Spasm of the Untrails. It's a bummer, but I think we're gonna be okay. Or not Spasm of the Untrails. Uh, tetanus. It also sucks because it's expensive. Like you get a lot of money for killing bosses, so I'll be able to clear all this disease. But I'd much rather have that be. As, are you kidding me? Um, pure profit. What is your disease resist? 25% virtue chance. That's okay. I got my first virtue like on that suicide squad last week. So I'm not counting on them shits. Um, I need all this stuff. What can I get rid of? Um, you are more useful than you. Not really starting to collect the blood yet. I don't have any, don't have any need for shovels. Shovels. You don't actually need as many in this area as I usually take. I always forget. Um, so I would like to be able to sell that, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So here we camp up, drink, backtrack, a little bit of stress down, down boss. Cannot prevent the ambush. Might get the ambush. Doing that for stress relief and because we have the food. All right. Um, so we definitely want a uh, plan takedown. Self only. 25% versus big boys. This is how we do it. Accuracy buff. We've got six left. Sharpen spear for three. Extra crit and accuracy. Uh, Restoring crossbow will be good for her. It's negative speed, which is actually kind of good. That better. So the reason why I'm not just doing this, because it's a really good buff, uh, the reason why I'm not just like jumping on it is because the concept of this boss fight, I'm going to be clearing marks. Most of her turns are going to be done, used like doing doing a specific action that doesn't help me that much. Um, not all of her turns, but most of them. So it's possible she'll actually want to be doing some damage, but I feel like this is not the best idea. Um, and it lowers her speed. It might lower her speed too much because her speed is now two. So I think I actually want bless and we'll increase. Both these guys have excellent accuracy. Let's create uh, accuracy and dodge. Let's make, oh, I can't do it to her. She can't do it to herself. Okay. Um, chance not going to be useful. Let's give her accuracy and dodge. 
keep her more likely to be alive if she gets targeted and I can't do anything about it. No ambush. That's excellent. No bonus fights. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, if everything goes according to plan, we're fine. It's expensive to get rid of some disease, but I think we can handle it. Now let's give this to you, actually, because he already has the this is how we do it. And that is 30 damage. 30%. Um, some back backtracking stress. It's okay. A fight can pop up here. It has not yet. We might get hit by that trap. Also okay. What I'd love to do is beat this boss and have some leftover pizzazz to, uh, to make this more profitable. Who has the uh, highest trap? 30... 60, yeah, 60, okay. Little extra torch light won't hurt if I get to explore some more. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Did disarm, okay. I think we're all right. So we're getting here and we're, we're gonna talk about this boss uh, and then I'll execute, then I'll execute. So this is the swine prince. The concept is, we got the swine prince, we got Wilbur. Wilbur uh, has 20 speed. He's going to act very fast. He's got pretty good dodge. He has one skill, and this one. Uh, he actually has squeal, which he'll do as well. Uh, that marks one of my characters. Uh, and the Swine Prince, uh, no dodge, zero speed. So very likely to go last in the round. Um, does a very high damage, decent accuracy attack against whoever is marked. He can actually say end these two as well, so he can do attack to two. Arbalus has an attack that clears marks. If no is marked, he does an attack that's much less accurate and has a pretty good chance of missing and also doesn't do that much damage. So, um, however, if you kill Wilbur in advance, um, he goes crazy and he does attacks that kill your entire or hurt your entire party. It's a real bad scene. Um, should we go ahead and just like start bleeding out? This gives me a damage debuff, but it's really a lot of damage. 16 to 32 with a 23% chance to crit. 13 with a 21%. Let's not bleed out until we get to the end and get desperate. I'm hoping for some real crits from her. So Rallying Flayer here uh, clears the mark. So she's no longer marked. So now he won't do the good attack. And uh, clears stun. And that's basically it. Pretty tempted to, to mark him for future damage. Because he'll do plus 90%. Um... And she's probably not going to get a chance to mark him. So let's go ahead and mark. This will pay off in the future. He only gets one turn per round. So I'm going to get two marks against him. So yeah, wild flailing is really low accuracy. And this one, that's fine. He can miss with that as well, which is kind of a bonus turn. That's when he's going to be able to do damage. 23, good shit. Um, I keep judgmenting. Nobody needs healing. Love those crits. He's halfway dead. I don't know. I mean, I do know why I worry about. Uh... Oh, this doesn't clear it on her, I don't think. Other heroes. So she might get hit by this. Let's go ahead and just do some damage. 28. Take advantage of that mark for a little bit. And let's go ahead and do a bleed out. We might be able to beat this guy to the punch. 25 with some bleed. Yeah. Um, so he's going to get off. Obliterate body. This is going to hurt. Was not actually so bad. We're fine. Um, I need to stop sweating apprentice bosses. In my uh, playthrough that I have going on, like my nightly medita meditative playthrough, uh, I am in the end game. So I'm very used to... Uh, yeah. Oh, and it does not kill Wilbur, of course. Uh, it doesn't matter that we're marked now. Healing doesn't matter, though. So let's actually go ahead and do this for a little bit of torchlight and de-stress or whatever. Um... But anyway, so I'm used to being scared of bosses. Good trinket. Uh, Defender seal is not good. This shit sucks, bro. Um, we do not need two food. We're in such good shape that we're like definitely gonna hang out. Yeah. Like we're we're safe as houses right now. 
So that was the boss. We didn't get very much for it. Oh, hey. I take it back. Okay. So this... Yes. Uh, these allow me to get rid of negative quirks. What do I get rid of? Clumsy. Hell yeah. That's excellent. So that just made continuing to explore totally worth it. And I might even run into more. All right. Good scout. Secret room. Now let's go here. Give me another pile of scrolls, baby. Hunger check. Not bad. We got space for two more of those. These books I don't care about. These don't have to be plugged in. Okay. Good secret room, me baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, let's go. I and mean, we can do this fight. We still got the buffs. Let's go do this fight, then come back up to that treasure room. Fuck it. I want these two curios. Oh, map. Give me the secret room. Give me the secret room and free my soul. I want to get a secret room with rock and roll and drift away. Okay. Give me all the goods. Do you not understand what I just did to your god? They actually have a god. It's the final final form of that thing, and it's nasty. Uh, these jabronis are no problem, though. No more disease. Oh, shit is getting expensive. So that's the other reason why I need to, like, make money. Uh, <laughs> This does make me kind of wish I restrung crossbow. It might have fucked up that fight where... Oh my goodness! Please stop with the disease. Oh, that one is nasty. <laughs> I'm like Dave Foley. Like, I have to make a certain amount of money to make this trip profitable. Um, yeah, I'm okay. good. Well, actually. A singular strike. So we're still good on stress levels, though. So we've been do doing this fight. Not a big deal, as far as that goes, which I like. We're, we're all right. I should switch her off of Rallying Flare as well. It's not, not super useful. Good dodge, my friend. Um, let's go ahead and get a get a heal in. Let's go ahead and get a finish him in. Yes, finished. Stuff need. Let's go like that, and then like that, like that, that, yeah, like that. Hey, pocket baby. Pocket does not understand why I'm stressing out over all this disease. He only has diseases like treat I guess. And snug fluenza. That I, this actually will get rid of negative quirks too, but I think I need a holy water. Which I didn't bring because they're not generally useful here. This doesn't show up very often. That's kind of a bummer. Um, maybe I'll get one from the fight though. Um... Unlikely, but possible. Very good first round. Well, actually, I think I like blind fire here for the speed buff. All right. Good, good. Once again, the beast that creepeth is the uh, achievement I just got. I don't know what that achievement is for. Definitely taking those deeds. 
push on to the task not a moron. End. I'm not a grade A moron. Yeah, the Eldritch Altar. Gotta have holy water for it. So we'll do this treasure room fight, get some treasure, and that'll be it. I'll go in at full torchlight, hopefully get another scout and get the uh, secret room. Even if you have the map fully scouted like this, it still does scout checks when you go into a room specifically for the idea that you can get the uh, the crit and get the uh, secret room. So I'd love to not take home any more disease. Okay. Which is why I'm going to prioritize you. Well done. Piling up some stress, but this is all stress that I can get rid of. Excellent crit. I can get rid of just through like hanging out in town, not taking these guys on a mission for a minute. Because the goal is going to be to uh, take the man at arms and get him up to level two to go fight the Sonorous Prophet, which is a harder boss fight. Of course, with the, uh, you know, with the way I've been talking, you know, the way things have been going, I'm going to like talk it up and have it be really easy. I swear I'm not sandbagging. It's just a... Uh, haven't played the uh, the apprentice level bosses in a while, so an apprentice level this game not super hard. Um, so um, Ruby's nice. Obviously, want all this stuff because I'm not. I'm leaving after this because there's nothing else to take, so. All right. Not bad. Could be better, but I'll take it. Hopefully you get some good levels and some good uh, good quirks and stuff from this. We got additional resolve XP from that, so it's likely we'll level up. We got a good team of level threes from this. That'll be nice, too, because we can start doing veteran dungeons uh, if we see a good treasure that we want. So, and pretty decent heirloom haul. All right. So, oh, got a couple level threes. We're very close to having a level three squad, which is really good. Uh, Brayton, Ruins Adventure, Tarn. This is pretty nasty. Evasive is good. Zoophobia is a really frustrating. Darkton, yeah, this all sucks. I'm going <laughs> to, this is a pretty bad, uh, bad roll. I'm going to have to take care of all this nonsense. Um, all right, let's go back to town here. Figure out who the MVP is. Maybe we get an interesting town event. Oh, hey, they're going to give us a free um, Pluto Mania, Manic for Money. That's a bummer, but I am going to take him because I like uh, Shield Bearers a lot. We'll figure out what we name him in a moment. Actually, we'll go ahead and just name the Shield Bearer. Let's go Alaprendas. Um, I like Shield Bearers, so I, I basically take on site. Um, yeah. So let's, uh, we'll get into it. Uh, MVP, Brayton did a lot of damage to that uh, guy, and Allison cleared the marks. Like between them, the two of them, like, everybody actually did really well. Weird that I didn't need healing that much. So there's definitely an LVP, which is Will Hughes. I'm like, glad that Will Hughes is level 3. We're getting closer to getting our level. Well, we actually have a level 3 squad right here. That's pretty cool. Um, let's give this to, let's give this to Allison. Clearing the marks is why I did not get hit a couple of those times, which would have been really nasty. And, uh, you know, this is kind of her boss fight. So, anywho, uh, see you in a week for more The The Duckfeed Memorial Dungeon Estate. Uh, glad you are enjoying the Let's Play, and hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully you have a great day. Bye!